Fireball finding itself at the center of a liquor lawsuit. Those little mini bottles being sold at your neighborhood bodega. Hey, they may not be whiskey. And it feels like fire going down. It's a whiskey flavored malt beverage. Fox 5's Stephanie Bertini explains why the controversy is hard to swallow for some customers. Sold at convenience stores, gas stations, and supermarkets across New York State and beyond Fireball Cinnamon. The bottles look almost identical to Fireball Whiskey, but don't have any actual whiskey at all, according to a recent lawsuit just filed against the company that produces them. It does make a claim on the bottom in really small print that it contains a natural whiskey, which I believe and uh, consumers believe is misleading as well because what it actually contains is the smallest drop of a whiskey flavor. It's a malt-based beverage, says attorney Spencer Sheehan, who's the attorney representing Anna Marquez, the person taking on the Sazerac company. He said at this stage it's a proposed class action lawsuit. The person in this case wants the company to label the product truthfully, mm -hmm. to not uh, mislead people, and obviously to uh, you know, to pay damages to the entire number of people, all the people who are affected. It's an interesting suit. Attorney Seth Berman has nothing to do with the lawsuit, but offers an opinion to Fox 5 News. I do think they have merit. Um, I think that given the close closeness of the labeling between the alcoholic version of the beverage and the, and, and the non-alcoholic version of the beverage, it's very hard to distinguish between the two. But not everyone sees it that way. This makes no sense to me at all. John Bond runs Waitlist.co, a marketing consulting agency. Big deal, <laughs> right? Like, who's being hurt with this? They buy the product, I don't know. They like the other one, they get a little confused. It's like, I don't understand who's being hurt. That's just, you know, the, the brand issue. We reached out to the Sazerac company for comment. They declined because the litigation is pending. Stephanie Bertini, Fox 5 News.